Derek O'Brien is an Upper House Indian Opposition MP uh, and leader of the AITC Parliamentary Party. I spoke with him a short time ago. Welcome to Breakfast. Thank you for having me. Are you satisfied with the response of, of Modi's government uh, to this train disaster? No, not at all satisfied, but uh, last few days also saddened that we've had this huge loss of 300 families grieving, another 700 families who were injured and are still being recovered. So firstly, prayers and thoughts for them as they, you know, each one is a story. It's just more than a number. And as far as uh, the Modi government handling this, it's been a very shabbily handled, but that was expected because there's been so much of focus on um, infrastructure, but sadly, no focus on safety, no budgets for safety, and also for maintenance. You know, the Indian railways have a great uh, history. They have a great legacy. And they're part of, very much, in fact, part of Indian popular culture as well. There are films made about the railways. There are songs written about the railways. It's a beautiful history. And they have a huge workforce, one of the largest in the world. So there's so much to be proud of. But at moments like these, you just wonder, what on earth was this government doing for the last nine years? Why do you say the focus has been on infrastructure but not safety? What's the evidence that the spend, and it is the, the figures are astronomical, uh, that the spend has been in the wrong place? So there is a bullet train project from Mumbai to uh, Modi's home city, uh, Ahmedabad. So that one bullet train project has been on for a few years. And let's say that bullet train project costs 10x the entire safety budget for the Indian railways for five years is 10x. There lies the problem. So there's, uh, so that's, I've given you just one example to show you how bad or how the priorities are wrong. Now, this government has had a habit of doing a lot of event management and less of the hard work on the ground. The Australian Prime Minister was in, was in India and it was uh, a lot of event management over a cricket match. So if the focus is not on maintenance, if the focus is not on safety, why, we ask, are 300,000 jobs safety in the safety department not filled up in the Indian railways? That's the question the Modi government has to answer. Why have they discontinued the railway budget uh, from 2017? It's been subsumed to the general, in general budget. The opposition parties across, including my party, the Trinamool, have raised the issue of safety, of maintenance, and of prioritizing expenditure on the floor of parliament. Why haven't those issues been addressed? I would like this tragic accident at least to have one positive, if I can try and be positive, even at the time of sadness and disaster and mourning, is to plead, to appeal, to urge the Modi government that A, somebody has to put his hand up and take responsibility. B, relook at your uh, event management policy and instead focus on the nuts and bolts. The railway minister, speaking of responsibility, is Ashwini Vashnor. Uh, you said this about him last year in relation to the bullet train project. And I'll say this on the floor of the house, that bullet train is your vanity project. Why is it a vanity project? And is he suitable <laughs> to remain in, in place given what's happened? We told that to him on the floor of parliament over a year ago. We call it a vanity project because, as I said, the bullet train goes from point A, Mumbai, to point B, Ahmedabad. The Indian railway network has about 100,000 kilometres of lines, 100,000 kilometres of railway line. Can you believe it? In the vision document, which was made by the railway minister, Ms. Mamta Banerjee, in 2009, talked about anti-collision devices. And today, only 1,200 or 1,400 kilometers out of the 100,000 kilometers of railway track in India are covered by that anti-collision device. I remember that speech in Parliament, and I did call it a vanity project. Like many of Modi's vanity projects, including uh, the new Parliament building of ours, the old Parliament building of ours last week became a 
um, a museum. We have a new parliament building. So that is the issue. I, I, I want to stay with issues. It's not a personal attack on Mr. Modi. We are on to the attack on the BJP's policies. On the question of the funding, though, and as you point out, more has been spent on these large, uh, flashy infrastructure projects, bullet trains, uh, major intercity trains, rather than it would appear at least uh, safety and the maintenance of, of the older lines. But is that in part associated with the fact that India has needed to go out uh, globally to seek funding and investment for the projects and for the upgrades of its railway system, and that actually internationally there's a lot more interest in spending on, you know, for example, uh, electrification of of train lines or or an, or a bullet train model, and far less interest in spending on 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 upkeep. You know, it's the outlook. Let me give you another example. Uh, when uh, COVID broke out. At four hours' notice, now we're talking about one of the world's largest networks with hundreds and thousands of employees, with millions of people using the network every day, and the prime minister goes and shuts the network down just before COVID broke, and uh, millions were put in, in distress. That's one example. The second, we have no problem with infrastructure. You know, when you import railway sets from, say, Europe... I don't know whether we import railway sets from Australia, but certainly from Europe. Uh, was comp was safety compromised and was the sequencing right? Uh, was, you know, is ma maintenance is nuts and bolts. Maintenance gets jeopardized because maintenance, you know, is a little like a service dog. It does all the hard work. It's not a show dog which wins the best look at the dog show for looking good. I think that's, <laughs> to, to use a, a rather far-fetched analogy, but, you know, it's service dog, versus show dog, it's uh, social responsibility versus profitability, and it's PR, no to PR, yes to PS, passenger safety. That's the view of the opposition here in India. Very briefly, though, do you give the Modi government any credit? Because I read that actually derailments are at an all-time, at a record low. In the 1980s, there was an average of 475 a year. That's down to just <laughs> over 50 a year. It's like saying uh, in 2016 there were 150 dead. It, in in 2017, I've got those I've got those numbers here. If you ask me whether I give Modi uh, credit, of course we give the Mo Modi government credit. They've got the best worldwide PR uh, organization in the world. I mean, they 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 will know how to they will know how to market anything. So much so that he'll even get the prime minister of your country to come to his stadium, to his home city, in a stadium named after him, the Modi Stadium, to go around that cricket stadium. I know the Aussies love their cricket, the Indians love their cricket, but that's the kind of over-the-top event marketing that's the focus of Mr. Modi. But the people of India are angry. And as the people of India mourn and there is sadness, there is a lot of anger. I mean, people are furious. Derek O'Brien, we really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.